Hi guys and welcome to another Warframe video. Today I am going to show you drop locations and my build for Nikana Prime. So first of all, Prime Nikana is the best Nikana in the game. It has the highest critical chance, status chance, attack speed and slash damage compared with Dragon Nikana or Normal Nikana. There are two ways to get Nikana Prime. First one is to buy Prime parts from other players at this moment. Price for a full Nikana Prime set is somewhere around 100 Platinums. And second way is to farm relics and parts with friends, random groups, clanmates or just all by yourself. Basically, it's your choice. About drop locations, you can find Nikana Prime Blueprint in AXI A1 as rare drop, Meso V2 Nikana Prime Blade as rare drop and AXI N2 Nikana Prime Hilt as rare drop. Just because all of them are rare drops, I recommend you to use maximum refined radiant relics and find or form groups with same required relics for higher dropping chance. Considering that Nikana is based on critical hits and slash damage, I use these mods. Tranquil Cleave, well, you can use any other stances as example Blind Justice. It purely depends on which one you like to use in combat. Berserker, which will give you plus 30% attack speed bonus for 24 seconds. Attack speed bonus stacks up to 3 times for a total maximum benefit of plus 75%. Just keep in mind that each stack has its own duration and will wear off separately. The next mod is Life Strike and it gives 20% lifesteal on maximum rank. Organic Shutter for critical damage, Pressure Point for raw damage, Jagged Edge for pure slash damage. Combination of Fiber Strike and Shocking Touch will give you corrosive damage and Rendering Strike for additional 60% slash damage. With these mods you will have high attack speed, good critical multiplier, high 470 slash damage in combination with 376 corrosive damage. In conclusion, Ikana Prime is one of the best melee weapons in Warframe with high critical chance and outstanding slash damage. And for me personally, it is the number one. And that's it for today guys. If this tutorial was helpful to you, feel free to subscribe for more Warframe videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.